Welcome back to round three. Things are getting pretty interesting in this investigation. I have scrutinized the death scene more closely, and I have a few more observations I'd like to share. Number one, there is a repeated pattern of rum splashed on the wall behind the open vat where the keg was drowned. And two, there are clear marks of a right hand repeatedly grasping the back of Pop's neck. And there is a length of rum splattered canvas that someone could have used as a covering to avoid getting splashed. Mm, sneaky. Together, those three facts lead me to suppose that someone dunked Pop's head in the rum over and over again. Maybe to get him to talk. Maybe. This supposition is supported by an open panel behind the vat with just enough room to hide the treasure map. When the panel is closed, it is almost impossible to discern. Mm, pretty good clues, eh? I observe them myself. It seems to me that someone wanted that map and forced Pop to reveal where it was hidden. When that someone found out that it was fake, they threw the map on the floor and finished the job of drowning Dekeg, probably out of anger and frustration. So the question is, who knew that the map existed, but did not know that Pop's version was fake? Go ahead and discuss this evidence and see if you can discover anyone who had the ability to commit the murder. Good luck. <laughs>